Amy, we're down here in Hopeville. Yes. What are you doing down here? What am I doing down here? Right now, I came down in Easter, and about two months ago, I lost my glasses. I have 1610 vision. You're blurry. I, I can't really see faces. If I had my glasses, I would be up and out of here by now. But while I'm here, and since I'm down here, since I can't see, I have people in churches trying to help, but it's my glasses are expensive because of my vision. How, how expensive? Like $300. Okay. Um, because I need the polyurethane lenses so I don't have the Coke bottle glasses. Right. <laughs> and people will hire me. But that's, that's, that's why I'm here. And, and while I'm here, I'm trying to help all three camps. There, there's three it's, camps it, here? Yes, there is. There is. Wow. And there's people in the building to the right, but you can't see besides the tree line. But we'll walk there and we'll see them, and I'll be more than happy to do that. There's Dignity Harbor. Hopeville came in. Dignity Harbor has been there for two years. It was founded by a man named Ken, who we all call Grandpa. Right. And OG and Loretta are our contacts with them. <laughs> On the other side of them is a camp called Sparta. Sparta split off from Hopeville and went up there and started their own camp. You have Mike, MJ, and Dante, who have been in the building for probably two or three years now. Wow. So there are three other, there are a total of three tent camps and then three people in the building. And I'll be more than happy to show you all of them well, as long as I can do well, that. Well, so it's just your glasses that are keeping you. That's the only thing because if, if I can't see, how am I going to work? And it, my glasses are so expensive, and with all the churches coming to help Hopeville, <laughs> bringing us ice, water, and everything they else. They can't come up with 300 bucks? Right now, no, because ice and water is more important to keep everybody hydrated. My glasses is my setback. Right. I lost my glasses. That's my responsibility. I'm not going to take away from everybody else. But yes, all my Do glasses people is, get out of here? Um, I've seen a few. Right. I, I left for a month and went into a bad situation, so I had to come back. I was promised this, this, and this, and got nothing out of it. So therefore, I came back. Wow. It, it was, it was my choice. I should have stayed where I was. Hopefully, with promises, I should have my glasses by next week. But I've heard those idle promises before, and nothing's ever came of them. So we'll see what happens again. It's, it's one of those things. We're here by by choice and unfortunateness. But the ones that want to come up and out really need the help and they're not getting it the way they should. So there's should. no shelters or anything that could... I can't go into a shelter because I come from two hours down 44. I don't come from St. Louis City. I don't come from St. Louis County. And until I have been homeless for a year, the city in. and county will not help me. Really? The only one that will help me is Larry Rice. And no offense to him and what he's done for us, but his shelter is not the safest and I can only stay there 14 days without going into his 30-day program. And then I have to volunteer six hours a day. If I have to volunteer six hours a day during the morning, how am I supposed to find a job beyond that? If um, you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes right now, I, I wish that everybody in Hopeville would find a home. I, 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 I wish that families would come together because we all have family somewhere and help. And I wish I had my glasses. That, that being the final and last wish, but everybody else comes before. I keep a smile on my face. I keep an upbeat personality to try and keep the camp happy. Well, thank you very much for talking. Not a problem. And if you'd like to see the other camps, we'll go there. We will. All right.